Okay, my name is James. Once you use this come for habit number two. This is video one. Okay, uh, this video is gonna be about Bigfoot. All right, so I've been watching a lot of these Bigfoot videos on YouTube and all the strange stories and all the strange tales and everything that can go from here to hell in handbasket and back. Now I want to say this because I'm not a skeptic. I do believe in Bigfoot fairies and all those other crazy things that no one can really catch to prove that exist or don't exist or have existed on some level or another. Forgive me while I play the game as I talk. You know, we have to understand that there are many things beyond human understanding that we have to, um, more or less for the lack of a better term, we have to accept it. But, you know, if you can hear the game over me, I'm sorry. But, yeah, you know, the, the whole thing is, I watched a lot of these videos this weekend. I mean, I watched a shit load of them. And I literally mean, I've watched a shit load of them. And by, by that, I mean, I watch people have radio shows about it. So I've watched everybody and their mama, basically, talk about Bigfoot. Yeah, and that's cool. No. I'm not going to say that Bigfoot does not exist. That would be like the last thing that I would ever say. But I will say that a lot of people give Bigfoot a bad name. And most of the time, it's because most people don't really understand the, the major concept of Bigfoot, you know. And there are a lot of people who would, um, who would dare to dispute it, you know. And that's fine. You, you, you can dare to dispute it. I mean, because you know what they say, there's no proof until they actually have proof. And that's like the hardest part, is actually getting the proof. But, you know, again, what does that mean? How far will we have to go to prove that this thing exists? And what will we do when we do prove that it exists? Or whatever. Also, speaking of it exists, there is a good movie called Exist, which is pretty good movie about Bigfoot, no, but they make Bigfoot a bad guy for the right reason, so I would give them that, no, let's just say it's about a parent, and how far it, it, it will go, you know, to deal with it, and the, the thing is, ah, oh, crap, sorry, try not to die. These damn cat be turning invisible and shit. Not that that has anything to do with Bigfoot at all. But you know, for the most part, you know, everyone's out to make Bigfoot look like the bad guy. And the truth of the matter is, it, it's more than likely Bigfoot is one of the Earth Guardians. And many legends of tribal depending on how you um decipher that or whatever tribe gives you the intel die damn you whatever tribe gives you the intel you know you're gonna have to just go with it until you can't you know Anything about all the stories I've heard this weekend, and I'm sitting there like, wow, there's ha so many people can't be smoking the same amount of weed or crack or whatever the hell it is that have them coming up with these elaborate ass stories. And from where I sit, you know, it's um, it's a complex thing, you know, 
and I'm sitting here and I'm thinking to myself, why are they so interested in this thing? But then there's a twist. There's also saying that if you've seen the Bigfoot, then you've probably seen UFOs because they're kind of coexisting or whatever the hell it was. And I'm going to dig more into that. And I will give you guys another video after I dig more into it about that shit. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm James Williams. Just call for number two. B-C-N-U.